Okay, hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get rid of these horrible, ugly looking scroll bars. Okay, so what we need to do is go back to your application because we need the application ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is how I'm going to go back to my app. I'm going to look for the developer app. Okay, and I'm going to click on the developer app. That's going to take me back to all of my apps and I can just literally create on the one I want, um, create on the one I want. It's because it says create a website. I can literally click on the one I want and there is my app ID. Okay, that's what you're looking for, app ID. So if you just copy your app ID, okay, and then what we need to do is go back to our welcome page. All right. And down the bottom, you can see here, it says get rid of scroll bars. You can get rid of scroll bars on your iframe by entering your application ID in the field below. So just simply put your application ID in there. OK, and then you need to go back over here to update in order to ensure that you've updated your page. OK, so we'll just click update. Now notice it has absolutely no bearing on your page whatsoever. If we click refresh on this page, then it does nothing to this page at all. OK, but it just puts it in there so that we can double check. We can make sure that those scroll bars have gone away. Now, there's a little bug on Facebook at the moment, which by the time you get this video, we probably will have resolved not on Facebook, sorry, on Firefox, which means that no matter what we do at the moment on Firefox, those scroll bars are showing. OK, now we've worked on this and we believe we have resolved the bugs. So by the time you see this video, this will work on Firefox as well. But let me show you what happens in Chrome. So if we go to the welcome page and ba boom, the scroll bars have gone. There's our page and the scroll bars have gone. Now, obviously, there's still some um, stuff we need to do to the page. For instance, look, we've got our header is a little bit too small. And our background colour just comes out either side of that. So we'd probably want to resize our header a little bit if we wanted that background colour. And we've got some amendment to do here on the, um, you know, spacing and stuff. But let me just show you how quickly you can amend this page. OK, let's go back to our edit page a second. OK, and let's go down to background. Let's click on background. All right, let's just take this out, OK, because I want it completely blank. I want it white. Oh, I have to select white, do I? There we go. Selected. Save changes. OK, so if I now go back to my welcome page and refresh. OK, we now have a white page. Yeah, so that's what we've done on our WordPress document. Now let's go back to Facebook and let's click refresh. And boom, it's that quick, it's that easy. We don't have to do any further integration. We don't have to do any more fiddling around with our app or anything like that. The minute we amend and update what's on our WordPress page, then all we need to do is literally refresh. And in Facebook, it's done automatically because what Facebook is doing is they're taking this information directly off of the WordPress URL, the URL that we've put in. So all we need to do is make changes to the main document and this is automatically updated. How cool is that? All right, so that's getting rid of the scroll bars and uh, just amending and showing you that. What I'd like to do in the next video is show you how to add Facebook comments. So I'll see you on the next video.